Welcome back, folks. We got more decoys to go over with you for the final approach decoys. And the last video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. We did a uh, widgeon and the shovelas. So today I got Thomas with me, and we're gonna go over the mallards and the blue wings from final approach. The new EVA, and uh, we're gonna get started. Sweet. Let's can see. never have too many decoys. And, and stay, stay with us because we're gonna do um, some more stuff after that that's brand new and i think you guys are gonna really like it i can't wait to see thomas's reaction to it Just keeping <laughs> secrets from me again a little bit of secrets i'm gonna do the teal first oh, teal first right get away from the bike got a couple hands on top so got the hen right there looks pretty good oh yeah blue wing right there looks pretty good a little stud i like the little purple on the on the head mm -hmm. when they get all plumed out studded out super light that's for sure do they have any uh, head positions they got? So, there we go. Um, you know what? It says on the side of the box. Side profile. Team pack. Four feeders and eight uprights. Okay, so it's pretty much the an so upright or the feeder. How many drakes? Eight? Is it eight drakes and four hands? Four hands, yeah, and eight drakes. That's perfect. We, and that's what I really like about Final Approach. They didn't really stay with like the standard of the other companies where they they sit there and everybody does 50-50. Uh -huh. It's like, to me, in anybody's or, right mind. Or one more Drake yeah. than him. Like, let's do, let's put more Four drakes. Drake's in two hands or something. Yeah, let's put more drakes. We want the puck color. We want the pop, so. Mm. That's my opinion. No, I, I mean, why not do it? I mean, why not kind of set yourself above the competition? So, paint jobs are great on Yeah, this. these are nice. I've had a few people ask me, why, do you, why did you get so many till? It's like, because till are small, light, and you can fill up. Like, we're going to show you a, a decoy bag here in a second. But you can fit, like, literally 60 green wings or blue wings in there. And it makes your spread bigger. It's less weight on you, but you get more out of it, if that makes sense. So. And we have, we have a lot of till here locally. I mean, our refugees are filled with green wings, cinnamon, blue wing. I mean, green wing being the predominant, but... We don't have like a dedicated like blooming season where right. they're migrating right. or whatever. We have te till that look like from that. opening day till the last day of duck yeah. season. So I mean really you can always have teal in your spread here mm -hmm. and it would never be a bad thing. I mean it's just more deeks and you could basically have more for the same weight so yeah and i mean we get a lot like this you know like the people oh, yeah. that the people that get have early till season they never going to see drakes right. like this yeah so it's not like something we're going to have in our spread that's not realistic to what we have right on to the mallards these are e eva very pliable soft material like a lot of uh, the better brands are out there Ooh, big boy Pat Godden, he's a 17 time world champion Carver. And there is, again, I believe it's eight drakes and four hands. So it's a 12 pack. Flocked heads. These look great. Another couple feeders. <clears throat> it's a good sized decoy. It is. Yeah. You got, what do you, which one you got? You got the feeder? Feeder, okay. And then we got the resting. Mm-hmm. That's no, these look good. The flopped heads look great. The paint job looks great. Pliable. The detail is good. Nice and soft. Not that heavy. They have pretty good size. I mean, that's, that's a good size decoy. Yeah, it is. If you're going, if you're going with these, I mean, these are premium decoys. Yeah, they, they're not small. They're the flocking's good. Paint job's good. These look great. I mean, got that little bit of a more of like a brighter color to really pop from the air because mm -hmm. some i feel like some people some brands make the mallards too like dark mm -hmm. and if you look at those aerial shots they're really pretty white mm -hmm. honestly mallards mm -hmm. are so this is that high head position high, high, higher head i should say oh okay yeah oh that looks good too yeah that one i really like that's yeah. kind of my favorite carving mm -hmm. right there mm -hmm. for sure yeah I like these. I will say something again, like you guys know me, we are no us. We always promise to be um, very honest with our opinions and it doesn't mean that's a bad thing, but I will say this is not my favorite posi head positioning, but I will say this in defense, this is supposed to be a drinker. So in all reality, that's probably what a Drake Mallard would be doing if he was drinking mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. 
it's it's all what we see as hunters, right? Like it's just preference. Mm-hmm. Like the next guy's gonna look at it and just love it. I mean, mm-hmm. the guy that carved this, right? Like, right. Because it does look realistic. But it's, so, it's something new for it sure, is. though. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of, and I could be wrong, but that's one, two, three, four different head positions in once in one pack. Yeah. I mean, that's you know that's pretty good. Yeah. You know, some packs you only get a rester and then a, a head up type uh, position. And I mean, that's what they're gonna do when they're drinking. Oh yeah. So there's I've nothing seen, wrong with seen it. it. Yeah, I've seen it. I would, I would just, if I was just to pick, I like, and we've talked about this, like a, a longer, higher neck. Uh-huh. When, you know, because if you look at pictures of mallards, right. they have a really high propped up head a lot of times when they're uh-huh. looking around. Right. And most decoys really have them squatted. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Most decoy companies do them all like this. Right. But like you said, I love it. That final approach did four head positions mm-hmm. with the Drakes. That's, some, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, I would say company. this is... Every bit as good as any other D5 I've seen. I mean, definitely not a small uh, e- economy priced no. uh, little, you know, basically a mallard the size of a teal, you know, cheap decoys that yeah. you could buy. Me saying what I said, like, is just being super picky, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's oh, not yeah. like, oh man, I don't want oh, yeah. those decoys because that. It's just oh, yeah. being, just nitpicking, trying to find something. Right. That's right. Yeah. On the, to even just criticize. to say something. Yeah. Just, just to criticize. To criticize. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's being very. That's picky. nothing. It's yeah. nothing. Yeah. It's, it's being majorly picky. And and guys, they're really fair price too. Like there's there's good prices. Just go. You can either go on Rogers SportingGoods.com and buy them there and check them out or whatever you want to look at the pricing. Or you can actually go on FABrand.com, which is Final Approach Brand, and you can go check them out and buy them there too. So tell us what's up. Nope. Says uh, holds up to 36 standard ducks. Duck decoys are 18 oversized magnum. 36 high, 36 wide, and 16 inches deep. You can get quite a spread. I'm, I'm telling you, I could fit 60 of those till that thing. There's the back. Got your backpack straps on there, a little bit of padding. Looks like. Little handle it goes here. wide down at the bottom, too. And this material is that material that if you get it in the water, the water will just. Uh, drain out. Looks like some adjustment here. Another handle here. So then on the top, you got three clips. Wide mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I stood up. You can stand up inside of it and like kind of blow out the bottom. I mean, you literally can get inside that thing. It's. I don't know if you can, you can see put that. some serious decoys in there. Oh yeah, dude. More than I more than you want to carry yeah. exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, which nice. is great. Which is great for things like me and him. We'll hike in. We'll both have our backpacks and put like a dozen mallards in a piece with our like pulsator and our de- or uh, blind back. You know. Yeah. And even for the boat, I mean, these would oh, work just fine on perfect. on our boat too. Yeah, you're gonna see it on there. Last but not least, I've been wanting to see these. The new rigs. It's the coated steel Texas rig, and I was kind of a guy. This is the 48 ounce. Four foot pack. So. Yeah, I've been excited to see these. These are brand new. Yeah. I haven't uh, see, seen them in the store, or held them, or anything yet. Coated steel cable, egg style weights. Coated the weights so these won't be slopping up against your decoys, uh, scratching them. So that's kind of a cool idea. They included the carabiner, black nickel sliding swivel. So they got some pretty good sized swivels in there. That's gonna slide up and down the rig, so let's check these out. Oh yeah. Oh man. No memory. Yeah, look at that. Like every bit of, like they've been well, circled up I and guess. twisted in that package for who yeah, knows how long. Yeah. I mean, there's no memory there. Let me cut these zip ties off. When you look at them in the package, like if you've ever got those, those rigging that's the hard plastic, it's just they'll stay coiled up for the rest of their lives. Like, I hate that. Oh, me too. Tries me so nuts. when you see these in the package and all twist, you're like, oh no, your your mind's thinking like these are gonna be just stuck in this position. As soon as you pull them out, they're just it's straight. And I wasn't really Thomas knows I was not a big fan of Texas rigs, but it was for that reason right there. You go throw them out and they're curled up and you're in shallow water. They're sticking out of the water. It drives me nuts. So look at just fresh out of the box, no memory, no. Kinks, no twists, no curls, just straight. Yep. Isn't it like such a good like yeah. when you're holding it? It's just right. a good like very feeling. flexible. And what's Solid. nice? These aren't gonna float. They're gonna they're not gonna tangle. That coating on on this weight is uh, gonna help protect your decoys. And it's a great color too. I mean, you can use this anywhere, even in shallow water. 
this this uh, coating they got on here. I like the color of it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, I've me seen too. some that are light, some are black. Mm -hmm. Even black can stand out in clear water. Mm -hmm. I like the length that you picked too, the, the four ounce. I have some rigs that are 30 inches and three ounce, but sometimes we've ran into problems with it being too short. So I really like this four foot length. Yeah. And the thing is, if you're hunting shin deep water, which we do a lot of times, uh -huh. It doesn't matter because of that weight of the coated steel right. or the cable, you know, it just, it all sinks. It lays on the bottom. It lays on the bottom. You don't have to worry about it. I love these. And I mean, they're already done. So look how fast you're going to go oh. and rig decoys up. And if you want to switch right. and you want to use rigging on some, which we have yeah. it for everything. But I mean, if you want to switch, it's, it's so quick. Yeah. Usually we do, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you're the same way as about 70% front of the kill and like 30% yeah. of the back, something like Done. that. Done. Yeah, I got, I, I'm sold on these for sure. You literally take them off the carabiner and let them all drop. Yeah. Just pick decoy out and choo, choo, yeah. choo, choo, choo. versus other style weights and rigs getting tangled and twisted. And if it's not your, if it's not your actual line, it would be your uh, weight right. grabbing on everything. Mm -hmm. And, and what's different than another, some other brands is that these weights move on the cable. And the other ones don't, they'll just, they stay at the one side. So if you were hunting shallower water and you really were concerned about it, it would probably self-adjust. And I don't, they don't claim that. I don't think anywhere they try to claim that these are self-adjusting, but because it slides, it would self-adjust. Mm -hmm. So again, it doesn't really matter because the weight of the cables is heavy. So it's going to go to the bottom, but just in case it, it could self-adjust. They got them in stock now. You can check out Rogers or FA's Final Purchase site. They got them for sale now. They just came in, I don't know, maybe like a week ago or something like that. So go check them out and pick them. I think there's still some sizes that are waiting to come in, but they do have the four ounce, four foot ones and like three or four. I think there's only one that's not on there quite yet. But they, ha they, they have multiple ranges that it goes up from. So stay tuned guys, we got another one more video with some new decoys and some, another type of bag and some other stuff. So stay tuned for that, that'll probably be out in two or three weeks. Duck season's almost here. Keep an eye out for like the loadout video and stuff like that and then hunts are gonna start kicking right after that. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys on the next one.